We've got to touch upon the fact that this was an impressive treble for Manchester City. Obviously, now uh, Manchester United, not the only English club now to have achieved that incredible uh, record of the treble with European Cup and Champions League. Um, your overall thoughts on, on this dynasty that Manchester City are creating? I think we're all an admirer. We all expected a bigger performance. City were certainly not at their best. Um, but at the same time, um, this is a treble and this is something that's just rarely ever seen in world football, let alone for English clubs in general. I'm impressed. Even as a United fan, you have to give credit where credit is due. The expectation, the weight of the world, the way the city team played. And you have to remember, this is a city team that threw all their tactics out of the window when how they were playing at the first half of the season, switched to a back three when they were playing a back four, and really centered their game plan around one player, the missing piece from the last few seasons. City, they've been playing with a false nine, and they almost won the Champions League with a false nine, Kevin De Bruyne playing that. So for Pep to reinvent the wheel, to get Erling Holland, that was the master stroke in there. But then different players, Ilkay Gudigan, Kevin De Bruyne coming to life. I mean, remember, Phil Foden, he was an out-and-out starter for City a season ago or the last two seasons. So credit to Pep, really impressed at the end of the day. I mean, I just want to say this um, as a neutral or at the very least someone that doesn't particularly wish either club all that well. Uh, it will pain me to say this to Mike Lloyd, <laughs> but no, um, don't say it. you have to say it. Manchester United's treble was the better one. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. Why? Because, Why? Because, James? Uh, first Why? of all, because you have to do it with a little bit of drama. I think yeah. the challenge for City is it was all a little bit too easy for them. You know, if we put these two teams together, faced off, you know, at peak of their power, City would be the better football team and would win the game. But, you know, as an achievement, you want it to be done with a little bit of spectacularity. And United had that all the way through, winning the league on the final day, winning the FA Against Cup us. in dramatic fashion. And, uh, oh, yeah, that thing at the new Camp. So I'd rather win the treble. You know, as a, as a fan, I would rather win the treble the way United did than the sort of slightly breezy way that City did. But, but of course, so, what this does James. mean is there's only one Invincibles and there's two treble winners. So, oh, boy. Right, so this, is, Wait, this is a question for James <laughs> and JJ then. Michael can be quiet on this. Um, would you say there's a bit of an asterisk mark on Manchester City for winning the treble in the sense of the investigation that's still ongoing with Manchester City? Is that fair to say? Because there wasn't this kind of situation with Manchester United and the money that's been involved with building this dynasty at Manchester City, would you say... Um, it's not been the same playing field as what Sir Alex Ferguson did at Man United. Um, uh, yes, pretty much. <laughs> Go for it, James. <laughs> I, I mean, I, we have to remember that, like, you know, Manchester United were by some distance the richest club. It's it's not, you know, and you have, yeah. probably have to be the richest club to win. But I, I do completely agree with you, Nigel. I think it's... You but know, there's a difference when you say that, James. When they exactly. said they're the richest club, they were the richest club by winning trophies and yeah. continued success. So they got money rewarded for being successful. Now, when you look at Manchester City, how that's come about, it is a lot different to what we're seeing. And they've literally also, just been... Also controversial, Nigel, as well. If you think of some of the big names that he got rid of uh, at Manchester yeah. United on the way to success, like, mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, it was just before that they got rid of, like, NC and all those guys. I mean, just booed mm. them out the door. It was like, you were thinking, what the hell is he doing, like, here? But uh, these were incredible decisions at the end of the day. Go ahead, Nigel, sorry. No, that was it. I just wanted to ask the, the two experts, James and JJ, what they thought if there's an asterisk mark in this treble compared to Manchester United. Well, I think as well, the other thing with this City success <clears throat> is it kind of feels like we've been counting down to this sort of ever since, uh, you know, City got to the point where they were started to be talked about as potential European champions. We've just been counting down to, you know, when they dominate absolutely everything, the Premier League, all domestic cups and the Champions League. So maybe by that uh, token, you know, we should be criticising City and saying, well, they didn't win the League Cup. So it's, uh, you know, all been for nothing. They should have should have had a quadruple to their name instead of a treble. I know it's a bit... Uh, you know, sort of nitpicking there. But uh, no, it, it kind of feels like this is an inevitability that we've counted down to. Mike, you got anything to add here before we move on? He doesn't have yeah, yeah, anything. Just, well, I Ian, noticed that Nigel said you were not an expert, so... Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that. I, uh, who's Nigel? I don't know. Who, no, I was kidding. Um, <laughs> no, I didn't get Mike involved because I wanted it from educated unbiased. journalists point of view and unbiased um, yeah yes yes so my only point is james can you remind us who the mutual team that united and city both beat to win the premier league on their way to their treble my my memory is a little flat 
Yeah, that was the uh, that was the Arsenal team, that, the only team to have uh, gone 38 game Premier League season undefeated. That was that one. Uh, uh, maybe a yeah. different season. I was going through my stats. So if you beat Arsenal, you get in the title race with Arsenal. Trebles do come your way. No, I, I agree with what everyone's saying here. What City achieved is amazing, but what that United team did to get it to the the final countdown to win the league on the final day, FA Cup, the heroics, and I mean, I, I don't think we'll see anything like that, but. There's something in the water in Manchester, apparently. Se right Sammy Kafour yeah. punching the turf in Catalonia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the greatest moments of my life. I'm just going to say that. Uh, mm -hmm. Pep Guardiola won his 300th game in charge of Manchester City on that Saturday night. He needed only 413 games to win 300 games in charge of Manchester City. 